folks, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have you with us. Division one men and women. Yep. And got some really interesting stats around D1 women. Stick around. They're gonna blow a few teams out of the water, I think. You've been smart. No, I was <laughs> uh, Let's get into it. Love Camberwell. Old, you? Camberwell. Oh, yeah. Not true, it's unfair. He's right, he's right. Yeah. I love it. Loves it. Uh, Campbell 52 defeated Craigie Byrne 41. How's was that? Were you just giving him the old yeah, stink was. eye then? <laughs> <laughs> the official Big V stink eye? Oh, stink eye, it's better than pink eye. Fantastic win by the Dragons. It uh, was. Craigie Byrne continued to show some inconsistency though. Like, Can you say You that? wouldn't. Dude. <laughs> sure you can. Who cares? Go it's on. a disease. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I like it. The Eagles, um, yeah, we, no, we didn't tip this one. Uh, they're Trouble the Eagles. Yeah, they're officially Who'd trouble. Last week, Justin wrote off Campbell's finals chances. Do you reckon that may or may not have come up at training? Do you reckon uh, Vaughnsy may yeah. have mentioned? There's that. a very, very <laughs> good chance. Yep. And you know what? I'll say this: uh, Vaughnsy and the girls out of Campbell. Well done. Great That's, win. That's a great win. A really but I still win. don't think you'll make the final. <laughs> Wow. Um, Craig Evans losses this season. This is it. I've lost to Hawthorne. Yep. Geelong. Yep. Keelor. Yep. And Campbell. Yep. What are your surmise from that? Well, it, it, you, you'd all. maybe say Geelong. Yeah. That not all lose to Keelor and Campbell. No. No. Uh, no, no. And that's how good Campbell yep. work. Campbell play fierce basketball. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really admire them for that. Yeah. Uh, you you are going to get an honest run every Absolutely. time you play yeah. Keelor uh, yeah. against Campbell. He was number four points in the second quarter. Shot 25 percent for the game. The offense has been a serious yeah. issue for them. They've got a few injuries at the moment. Yeah. Too, like, okay. Elise anyway. Lambrew 13 points. Emily Veary 11 11. Tennille Cairns 17. Nicole McMahon 10 and 17. Denunzio one of 14. No, and, and, and this is their problem. Even though they've got a couple of injuries at the moment, yep. Craig Burns' big issue is their stars have nights like that. Yeah. Denunzio shouldn't be going 1 of 14. No, no. Uh, Mildura 78 put away the Jets comfy fashion. Easy. Um, what happened to Sundry? Oh, what happened with the thing? The part fell off the plane and they were. Oh, it what did happen. No, 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 don't just muck around. This no, is actually no. true. And they were waiting to see whether they were going to have to fly apart down for Sydney. I think so they rolled up to the airport yeah, I think. and they've come over the speaker. Sorry, and guys. They said, Sorry about that. We're missing the left wing at yeah, the moment. We're, so we're getting some contingencies in place just in case, just in case. But it all went well. They may have substituted the plane, I'm not sure, but they got there in one piece. What do you mean? Oh, they, the Wright brothers flew in another plane yeah. and off they went to Mildura. No, oh, you got to trust them. Anyway, oh, absolutely. Anyway, yeah. they did get up there. <laughs> yeah, they did. Eventually. Uh, 33 to, maybe they shouldn't have gone. Um, 33 to 26 <laughs> at half time, and then the Heat went 45 to 14 in the second half. Somebody shot 3 of 28 in the second half. Three buckets yeah, yeah, yeah. in a whole half. No, not good. Uh, Heat won the boards 50 to 28. The, the Jets gave the ball up 29 times. Serena Simmons did everything. This yep. is a huge loss. It is sick. 16 points, 21 boards, 5 assists, 4 steals, and 4 blocks for the import. Vanessa Power, oh, 18.6 times. Michaela Del Castagna had 16. Jasmine Simmons. Yes? It's not a. No relation. Six, 13 points, 13 boards, 5 steals. Now! Now. Dem Demi Wall. Yes. Has no. This is no, huge. Yes. We've got to mention this. We've got to mention it. Demi Wall. Yep. Daughter of Ange. The coach. Daughter. Unreal. Can't you say the word Ange? Ange. 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 Called it Ang. Oh, I did. <laughs> Ange. Oh, Ange. 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 Wall. First points in a big big career. Well, well done. done. When was the last? Has it ever happened where a mother has coached a daughter in a team in BV? Oh, it would have at oh, some stage. Sure, would have that. Happened. Well, if Corny keeps playing, she'll get a chance one day too, I suppose. But it, I mean, it, it would have happened at some... Well, I don't know that, but you would think sure. that maybe it's happened. Um, certainly... Karen Jeffers had 14 for some reason. Certainly fathers and daughters. Yeah. Had Next had game, Whittlesey 40... Hey, hey, no second. Oh, yeah. Demi Wall, just give her another. Yeah, well done. Yeah, well done, done Dems. Whittlesey 49 lost to... Wherry 48. It's the old ducks. Yeah. Huge win for the Devils. <laughs> and didn't we hear about it on Facebook? Oh, yeah, no, they let us know about it because we all tipped Whittlesey last week. Hey, uh, they, they are. They are a genuine. Ge you wait till we go through some stats in a moment. Yeah, no, 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 no question. Where are, no, what? they're not. Do you say title chip, tip or yeah. contender? Yeah. Where are we? A title contender. Absolutely, they are. No, sorry. All right. Okay. Anyway, um,. Proving that maybe they're not as old as what we think. It was the last quarter where they actually did the damage, yep. running over the top of the younger Ran cases. Low, yeah. Three to seven. Not bad for an average. We obviously went none of twelve in the last quarter. That didn't help. Jody Impey Cup, by the way, or one of the many Jody yeah, Impey Cups. There's a few around, isn't yeah. there? Did Georgia. 
Tausch she's gives she's them a, a, hey, she is a very good young player, oh, Georgia Tausch. Speaking of good young so players, is this Maddie Rochi yeah. with 11 points. Yeah. I'm no play, pace is playing more than 8 points. Well, After well, being offensive, seriously, yeah, well, I'm, saying, hot, they've been, I'm on fire yeah, the last they did, month. They did lose to Craig Ben last week. Yeah, but uh, but they've been putting that, up points. What's yeah, that? 49. Yeah, no, just, just cold night. Cold night and Werribee defence to. Oh, they're yeah. very, very good. And yeah. and uh, <laughs> Werribee are very loath to tell us what the go is with watermelons they won't down tell. there. They um, won't tell us. Uh, every time we talk about it, I blush. Yeah. So I'm not the right guy. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Remember an interview that we had with uh, MP and uh, and Coyne oh, at the front of the oh, oh, yes. at, a, at the preseason the, tournament? Yeah. Can they talk? I, oh, my yeah. imagination is running wild. Yeah, no, there's a few <laughs> things they taught us off camera that day. Well and truly. Both. Oh, I don't know what's going on with the watermelons, but whatever it is, they're having a bit of fun with it. Yeah, and it's working. Yep. Um, Craigie Ben 60 went down to Geelong Horror Weekend for the Eagles. Yep. The last three, the last four. Geelong scored 80, by the way. Can, which is sensational. Can, can, uh, they're this is what they do when they can. They're the favourites. Ebony, this is why I said no one else is a contender. Yep. Um, Supercats, 43 to 21, second half. They're back to the best. We're saying they might have been cruising a little bit, they're, a little bit, a little bit Miami Heat during the regular season. They're close they're, to their uh, best. They've got, they got one player who still hasn't yep. broken out yet, which and is when scary. She does, which is scary. Out. Ebony Rolf, 17 points. Kylie Morrissey, 17. Play you made mention. Amy Wormold's only four point, four points in 30 minutes. What a luxury to have to win by 20 at Craigie Burn yep, to yep. score 80. And have your skipper. Amy Wormold yeah. is a very good basketballer. Good player, wait yeah. till she gets confidence back in her legs after that serious injury yeah. late last year. Yeah. You wait till you see the second half from Wormold. And look, I think Kyle this Morrissey season. has just been sensational oh, this season for Geelong as yep. well. Nicole McMahon, 16, 12, Tenille Kent, 21 points, but on 4 of 19. And shooting. that's the big thing with Craigie yeah. Burn, I keep saying. Yeah, I'm McLean on Sunday as well. Okay. Hawthorne, 68, went down to Kiel, lost 71. Good win by Thunder on the road. Yeah, They're really good. Good. Them and Werribee have just come up and been super. Um, Jess Frankie, 25 points, 7 boards, 3 triples. Tash Ross Harris, been very good, 21 and 19. Big game for her. And we're very close to the blue card. Yep. Very close. Uh, now, as we've mentioned in our other shows, we will not. Um, no, after five years, we, we had to get together and just have a think about this show because you and I have carried the load for a long time. My shoulder. A, yeah, I've had shoulder, shoulder surgery in the off season. Yep, and, and we needed it. There's no doubt about that. And w we have officially complained mm -hmm. to the producers of this show. Yeah, who are who are very good looking. No, they they are the producers of this show. Three blind mice. We've complained to them, and we've said we're never ever reading out another letter, so ever. We no. Which uh, if me, I'm not doing it, no. and Justin's not no. doing it. Nathan, better get cracking. Maybe you. D1 women's life. You go quick. <sighs> Hurry up. Geelong seven. I don't hear that. <laughs> Geelong seven and one, Werribee seven and three, having won their last three. Keelor seven and four, Latrobe City five and four has their buy moved up a spot. Guys, that's the top four. Yeah, is that? Yeah. And we've seen that again. Latrobe City had the buy, yeah, jumped it, up it into the up four. It has. Yeah. Camberwell Good. five and four, they moved from ninth to fifth, just showing how tight this division is. Mildura six and five, yeah. Craigieburn six and five, dropped from third to seventh. The yeah. Eagles. Hawthorne five and five, Whittlesey four and five. That's probably where you'd rule the line. Southern Penn two and eight, Sunbury zip and ten. Now listen to this. I've go. done some research. Now this is cracking information for all of our D1 women's teams. Right, okay. Okay. Have listen to this. Yep. 2011 Ooh. Division One had 11 teams in the competition. How many have we got this season? 11. 11. So we can draw some yeah, comparisons, yeah. alright? Warnable, Warnable made the top four in 2011 with a record of 13 wins and 7 losses. Where did they finish? Uh, th that fourth. fourth. Well, did I just say they made the top yeah, four? Yeah, did. Seven, did yeah. they finish fourth? Yes, they yeah. finished well, fourth. Well, common sense, so they mate. They made the top four, right? Fourth. Yeah. Okay. That's Could finish that, first. That's they did that with the title. No, though, no. Right? Four. Uh, probably. Well, sorry. They, they won that many bloody titles. Yeah. Anyway, they finished fourth. <laughs> so with 13 wins, seven losses. Yep. So based on that, right now, Geelong can split their last 12 games this season, six and six. Yeah. All right. Based on how many wins and losses they've got at the moment, they can split them six and six. They're going to make it. 13 being home. the magic number. Yeah. 13, 13 being 13. the magic number. Correct. Well yep. said. Werribee sitting in second, need to win, based on 13 and seven, need to win six of their next 10. Okay. okay. Get them all. Keel Lord needs to win six of their next nine. Get a ball. Latrobe, Latrobe City, and this is what I'm, this is how tough this competition oh. is. Latrobe City in fourth at the moment. In order to get the 
need to win eight of their next 11. Mm. Can only drop three more games. Camberwell need to win eight of their next 11. Mildura, seven of their next mm. nine. Wow. Craigie Burn, seven of their next nine. Which is nine. huge considering they were the championship favourites with Geelong going into yeah. the season. Yeah. Hawthorne, eight of their next 10. Can only drop two more games. Whittlesey, Nine wins from their next 11 games to make it. Yep. Nine of 11. Southern Penn can't get 13 wins. Sunbury can't get 13 you know wins. What? I reckon you might not need 13 wins to get I reckon you're right. This year. So yeah. the next thing I've said is uh, Geelong is safe. Yeah. Based on the division, maybe 12 wins will get you in there because it's yep. so tight. Here's oh, the interesting one. Werribee. Werribee. Ooh. Werribee's next four games. Remember, Werribee. Okay, sitting second at the moment, have been very good, need to win six of their next ten. Their next four games, they've got Craigieburn, Geelong, Keel, or Latrobe City, their next four. Yeah. They've already played all four of those teams. In those four games so far, they lost to Craigieburn, they lost to Geelong, they lost to Keel, and they beat Latrobe oh, City. Okay. Werribee's next four games... So if they lose those four, then they've got to win their last six. Werribee's next four games will tell us whether they can make it or not. Right. There you go. Okay. That's, that's, well, absolutely they can. So Based on, on what the they're doing, well, I think it's going to be very tight. Based on what I've just told everyone, it's going to be an unbelievably tight race. Yep. Yeah, no really race. tight. It's exciting. Round, it all right, is. well, that all starts this week in round 10, Saturday, Camberwell, Latrobe City. Latrobe City for me. me too. I don't know that Camberwell can stop Horbiton. I'm going Camberwell. Yeah, I think you're right. Craigie Burn, where are you? You're right. Hey, Zanelli will go there. Oh, jeez, Zanelli. You just got to get it out one, one the more time. One of the toughest defensive units yes, spearheaded by no Zanelli. Question. We know that, but he, 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 can you go a week without saying well, Zanelli? Well, you just said, oh, they've got, no got no one to, to guard all Zanelli's the good, but she's not all the time. She's best defensive Craigie Byrne, Werribee? Werribee for me. And now it's, it's on right now. It's on, because Craigie Byrne must, must win. It's on right now. I'm too worried. How can you go past him? Yeah. Heck, we're going to have an official week soon, a Werribee week. Yep. We're going to have our cardigans on. Yep. We'll get our watermelons Werribee's out. has got game. <laughs> I'm going to go Werribee as well. How can you go past him? Some Pen Whittlesey. Surely. Whittlesey bounce back. Surely. Surely. Sunbury Hawthorne. A Hawthorne for me. Yep. Sunbury aren't close to a win, though. No. Kill. Yeah, I think I might have been wrong. Kill, yeah. Kill or Mildura. <laughs> How big is this game for Kill? Oh, it's a monster. They're in the four. Six of the next nine. They're doing very, very well. Yep. Who are you going to go for? I'm going to give Kilo the edge at home. Go on. I know I feel, what you're going to say. I feel really bad because I keep, every time... Hey, Mildura can't drop games. No, but every time Kilo keep winning, I feel surprised. Like, I feel, do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like... <laughs> so... I don't really care. I think <laughs> just move it along. Well, gee, that got you in trouble when you said something like that last time, didn't it? <laughs> I'm going Kilo. with the wall. I don't care what you're going as well. Kilo. Kilo. I'm going with the wall family and Mildura together. Neither team can afford to lose that. No. Sunday games, Geelong and Latrobe City. Geelong. Oh, that's a crap. Very good game. Yeah, Geelong, 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 Geelong are the best. Geelong are the best. Geelong are the best. Whittlesey, Mildura. I'm going Mildura to get two on the road. I'm going Whittlesey to get two this weekend. All right, all start five. I didn't get to tip. Oh, go on. On tip. Mildura. All star five halfway mark for D1 women. What do you got? Centre? Lindsay Horbitat. I've got Horbitat just Hobbitar. over McMahon. Well, not just over, but over Nicole there. McMahon's been very good oh, yeah, this yeah. season. But yeah. I think Lindsay Horbitat right. is who's listed as a centre. Two forward spots, Serena Simmons. Yep. Serena yeah, Simmons gets one for me. Jess Frankie the other. Yeah, me too. I reckon it's out of Frankie and Troy Ann. Yep. yep. Troy yep. Ann's been fair. very, very yeah. good. Two guard spots, I've got Colin Morrissey and Vanessa Perry. Yes. yes. Bang, bang. Spot on. Cool. Nice, easy. Get them to D1 men. Here we go. Cool. It's only half an hour show. Huge already. game. Waterball 100. Defeated Latrobe City 91. Uh, wow. Justin's going to probably do the old I told you so dance here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> how do you guys... How do you guys not rate this team yet? Well, Latrobe City oh, you do have for Sean Lever. Uh, he's a very good player. <laughs> no, you're right. Are you finally rate yes, them? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's about bloody time. Um, the 48 Not that Bobby C could give a stuff whether you rate them or not. Did you tip him? Set up with for the home team. No, he didn't. Um, <laughs> Saquon <laughs> Stone, 25 <laughs> points. Great game for him. Tim Ganey can just continue. Great season. 20, 22 and 12. Jordan Canavan, 26 points, 6 assists and, six assists and 4 trays. Ashton Pitts, 19, 9 and 5 trays. Bernacci. Steve Bernacci, yep. 13 and 13. Great win to the Seahawks. Well done, Seahawks. Legitimate title They are legitimate. Why not? No question. Why not? Southern Penn, 92, defeated Altona, 90 in overtime. Pesky. Southern Penn, uh, Gators, 10 of 23 from the foul line at 43%. In, in a two-point game. Yeah, in overtime. That 43%. Kills you, mm. Kills you. That's ridiculous. Chips and Gravy uh, had 30 points. Get around this play. Very oh, good. Right. Of the month, 
Pitbull? Yep. Very, very good. Max Allen, 22 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists, 3 triples. His numbers ones. are creeping up each game good. too. Good. Jaden Bubb. Yeah. 18 points. He's just a boy. He's very good. 10 rebounds. Very good. Hey, right. Bubb. Yeah. What's that about? He's just a Bubb. Where, where's he come from? Yeah, where's he from? I actually think... Yeah, and if it's the one I'm thinking uh, Luke Charles has talked to me about... There's not too many Bubbs doing the rounds. I think he used to be like a track and field. Uh, oh, did he? Athlete, yeah, so okay. uh, recent combat. But yeah, no, look, he's good. Brent Radzlovic had nine in game. James Gould just, um, his fourth game of the year, 15 points, 15 points. Milos Chukulia. Chukulia. 14 points, 15 points as well. Uh, Sun Penn, lucky to get away with that one. Yeah, they'll take Very that. Lucky. Get out of there. Yeah. Let's head up to Orange County. Yeah, Mildura just edged out the Jets, 64 to 58. Uh, Summary held to just five points in the second quarter, had 27 turnovers. Wow. That, that that absolutely cost them yeah. the game. Um, Brent Simons, 20 points. Now, hold it right there. It's important. Is that the first time yeah. Yeah. in at least two years, if not longer, that a player other than an import in Mildura has been their top scorer. Yep. No it's a good sign. Be. It's a good sign. Yeah, Brent be. Simons is actually um, a bit of a barometer, I think, yep. for Mildura. Oh, um, you know you get out of the imports, yep. but uh, Brent Simons can play. Um, Calvin Henry, 18 points, 15, uh, 14 boards, 5 blocks, 4 steals, 3 Four steals, three assists. I don't think Reggie will play. Yeah. Okay. Um, good to get a win anyhow. Yep. Uh, Jordan Great Harding, 16 it. points and 14 boards. Corey Collier, 12 and 9. Good in the middle. I think um, that shows probably how far off Sunbury are because if they still couldn't win without Fuller, who's mm. been such a huge part of Mildred's team. Yeah, three, three, yeah, loss, no, three losses I, in a row. And I stuck with them, and you guys did say this time last week that they're in a bit of strife. So, yeah. Craig Burn, 85. Well, well, that's big yeah. Lost to Melt, 97. The thoroughbred, <laughs> thoroughbred snapping a three game losing this. streak. Have a listen to this. This, See, game, this game officially finished Monday morning. Have a listen to this. I think these two teams need to be shown oh, not to dude, reach. There were 67 fouls caught in the game. 67. 93 <laughs> free throw attempts between the two sides. Five players were fouled off. Anthony Kimball, 23 points and eight boards. Jeff Crow, 22 points. Really good player. Keywell Shields had 17 and eight for the Eagles. Paul Sonetti, 16. Kane McNamara, 15 points. Adjust your defense. Mate, come on. The referees, after the game, the referees put in for long service leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, seriously. Yeah. Like, so they went to that to go to the shop, buy some new whistles. <laughs> the game is obviously called tight, and the yeah. players obviously didn't adjust. Oh, yeah, well, let's head right. out down by the Yarra. Uh, Warren Dyke, 74, got a win over Melbourne Uni, 65. Scores level going into the final period, but uh, uh, the Venom got it 19 to 10 that last quarter. Yep. A couple of good uh, outputs. Uh, Michael Stella, he's showing, showing, showing well. This is important that he does this 26 points, 4 triples. Uh, Jonathan Murphy, 18 points. Brenton Charles, 10 points, 7 boards, 7 assists. Oh, nice yeah. game. Yeah, good, good effort. Uh, Jack Ralston, Woodcock, had 23. 23 and 9. 65. The Black Angels are really struggling. Yeah, they're, um, they're falling apart. And uh, Brenton Charles, the skipper out there, he's leading the assists in Division 1. Man. Yep, doesn't not doesn't surprise, surprise me. Right. Very good play. Geelong, 90, defeated Camberwell, 73. Lindsay Cole, 24 points for the Supercats. Steve Wyzak with 15. Seb Loder, 12 points, 12 rebounds and 3 blocks. They've been very good since Loder got Got back into that team. Here's the big story. Kevin Anstey, the vulture. Flew Kevin in. Anding, flew he's, in. He's back in. 17, 17 points. Yeah. And four triples in 18 minutes off the bench. Not bad. Yeah, Kev, I know you're the coach. Don't stuff around with bringing yourself off the bench, mate. Yeah. Just sit a 40 few minutes. Nah, just put yourself hey, out Timo there. Timo used to do it. <laughs> hey, 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 you know what? I, 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 I will officially, I will officially put my hat in the ring. I'll put my hand up right now for Kev. If he gives me a call, he knows where to find me. You should be out there for 40 minutes, Kev. Yeah, if, you need, if you need someone to look after things on the sidelines for you while you get out there and play, mm -hmm. just give me a call. I'm mm -hmm. happy to help out. I, I'm just trying to do a service. Yep. That's it. God, he's... You should be playing 40 minutes. Or himself. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> That's exactly where I was yeah. going. What were you saying? Nothing. Oh. It wouldn't have been Don't turn up. the volume. <laughs> That's why we don't have the bells. Uh, for comments like that, Altona 80 <laughs> defeated. Craigie Burn 78. Uh, Craigie Burn. Two losses on the weekend. Gators bounced back from a two-point loss with a two-point win. Yep. Uh, Brent Rose, like 19 points, three triples. Joey Masu had 18. Kane McMurray, 23. I've kind of been improving the last few weeks. Yeah, yeah, they're looking yeah. good. Hang on. Um, Who did Campbell play this week before I start offering that sort of crap out? Ooh, no, don't do it. No, yeah, I don't think don't I'm. Do you know what? You busy. Hey, I've got something on this week. I'm happy to help out. Green on the court for 
I'm officially busy this weekend. Grandkids, yeah. Kills you. Ah, uh, could you do the ladder for me? Yeah, we don't do ladders list. anymore. Yeah, so. they're above that. The Terrell ladder, Warnable 7 and 2, Geelong 7 and 3, Melton 5 and 5, Sunbury 5 and 5, having lost their last three. That's the top four there. Mildura right behind them, 4 and 5. Altona 3 and 6, Craigieburn 1 and 9. I reckon the top two are safe there, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Everything after that, it's Se open yeah, slather. Second for Except for Craigieburn. No, that's right. Except yeah. for Craigieburn. Watson ladder, the, and this is where it's tight amongst the top four. Southern Penn 8 and 2, Latrobe City 7 and 2, Blackburn 6 and 2, wow. Chelsea 5 and 4, Gap, Warrandyte 3 and 6, Melbourne Uni 2 and 7, Campbell 2 and 7. Uh, I think the top four so do set. I. So do I. But I think that order, any one of any, those teams could finish in yeah, any one of those yeah, positions. Spot, spot on. Round 10, Saturday, Chelsea, Sunbury, got to go Chelsea. Chelsea the for me. me. Melbourne Uni, Geelong. Geelong. Warren hey, a lot of history between Melbourne Uni and Geelong. Oh Geelong. yeah, great history. Yep. great series. Um, for me, this, I reckon this is actually a cracker. Mm. Warren died Altona. Uh, yeah, Altona have improved. Yeah, Warren died good. If it was at Altona, I'd probably go the Gators. I'm gonna go Warren and at Warren died. Yeah, no, I think that's fair. Just yeah. give them the yeah. 50-50 pick the home team. Yeah. Sunday, Arnie's, Arnie's smiling at the moment. Yeah, yeah he's happy talking about. Yeah. Sunday game, Southern Penn Mildura. I'm gonna go with uh, Southern Penn to win at home. But gee, I tell you what. The matchup, Kelvin Henry and Shannon Davey, one of the best ones going around, yeah, I reckon. Right. I'm going Southern Pan. I'm going with Jura. Campbell or Latrobe City? Uh, Latrobe, Latrobe City, City yeah, and I'll officially be available in round 11. <laughs> <laughs> Vulture. Craigie Burn Warnable. Uh, sorry, Geelong Warnable. Oh, also oh, a big matchup between game game top, two, top two Terrell letter. Grand final series 2011. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I've got no reason. To go. Go. I've got no reason Bull. to go against Bobby C. No reason, and I'm not going to. Yep. Okay. And I don't blame you for that. That's going to be yeah, a good yeah. game. Yeah. Craigie, Craigie game. Burn, Chelsea, how much? Chelsea for me. Uh, oh yeah. no, Craigie Burn competitive at home, but I think Chelsea would be too good. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, Craigie Burn are competitive at home. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Chelsea to win that. What's How much is competitive? You're an ass off. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Can I say that? Oh, no. No, no, you no, just no. said it. Blackburn Warren died. Blackburn that high. Hey, it was a one point game. Last we were there. Just it was a nice great game. Fresh Blackburn. I think Blackburn because yeah. they are fresh, yes. All right, All Star 5, guys. Um, just a quick reminder um, the players filled in their positions well, we when they registered pre season. Don't write don't blame us. All right, um, who's your starting centre? Now, this is going to be the toughest position to pick in the All-Star 5 this year for D1 men. Simon Hughes. Simon Hughes. Um, Seb Loader. Seb Loader. And Nathan Marsh. Nathan Marsh. I'm going to go Seb Loader. It's Seb out of the, and Keywall Shields won't be too far no, away either. Sure. Oh, yeah. But uh, it's for me, it's either going to be Loader or Marsh for me. Loader. Loader. Yeah, Marsh is good. Don't get me wrong. Very good. It's, it's really it's close. When good. I saw him play, that'd be a cracker player. in the votes. Yeah. yeah. Watch. Um, Fords, I've got oh, Kelvin Henry. Kelvin Henry takes one. And Corey Standerfer. Yeah, me too. I've got Kelvin Henry. Yeah. And then I've got Standerfer, yeah. Shannon Davey, Tim Gainey. Yep. How do you pick between those? Oh, Tim Gainey is having yep. a huge season. Yeah. Too many good players, guys. Guards. <sighs> it's rough. Um, guards, I've got Jordan Cannon. Yes, so have I. So have I. And uh, Saquon Stone. Oh, I've gone with go. I've gone with Anthony Kimball yep. just based on what we've seen mm. so far this Kimble season, just me. above him at the yeah. moment. The right. doctor, the Fair good doctor. Right. Right. Uh, D one women, D one men, uh, and right. it is cracking basketball in this yeah. competition. I love it. Uh, take care of yourself. Round ten coming up on the weekend. See you next like week. Alan. What? Take care of yourself. Oh, well, you want people to take you. Yeah. Do you send a lot of shit? Do it. Can you dance like Ellen dances? Yeah, please? sure. Please. See you next week.